The closure of the Canada-U.S. border has had a drastic impact on Canada-U.S. trade. Could the minister provide us with the value of the trade that has been lost due to the border closure over the last 14 months? Honourable uh, Minister. Ma Madam Chair, um, essential goods and services continue to flow between the border, uh, ensuring that uh, food remains into our grocery stores and that uh, critical supplies get into Canada, including medicines and medical supplies. And uh, we have uh, we have done this in an effort to ensure that we are keeping Canadians healthy and safe, but essential goods and... Uh, the honourable member? The borders. Perhaps the minister could table the value of the lost U.S.-Canada trade. Uh, the... The uh, U.S. is rapidly opening their economy and has a plan to do so. What conditions must be in place for Canada-U.S. border to reopen? The Honourable Minister. Madam Chair. Madam Speaker, Mad oh, sorry. Ma ma I apologize. Sorry. I'll, I'll take it. Um, Madam uh, Chair, uh, Canada is, of course, evaluating on a real-time basis uh, when to open uh, our border. Uh, we have, of course, had an open border with respect to the essential traffic of, uh, of uh, important goods between our two countries, but it is the Public Health Agency of Canada that will make the decision as to how fast and when we open our border again. There's uh, 14 seconds left. The Honourable uh, Member, if you have a very quick question. Uh, perhaps when that plan is available, the Minister could table the conditions under which the border must reopen. Not sure if the Honourable Minister w wishes to uh, respond. Well, yes. I mean, as we make decisions about reopening the border progressively, we'll make that public information. Thank you, Madam Chair.